a volcano, erupted in Bali, Indonesia, causing major travel disruptions. The eruption sent a massive cloud of ash high into the atmosphere. This ash cloud posed a serious risk to airplanes, forcing airlines to cancel flights. Thousands of travellers found themselves stranded in Bali and other locations. The situation caused significant inconvenience and uncertainty for travellers. Many were left wondering when they would be able to return home. Airlines worked quickly to adjust their schedules and accommodate affected passengers. However, the situation highlighted the powerful impact that natural disasters can have on air travel. The volcano responsible for the travel chaos was Mount Lewatobi, Laki Laki. It is located in the eastern part of Bali, far from the popular tourist areas. The eruption began on, insert date of eruption, sending a plume of ash and smoke thousands of metres into the sky. Mount Lewatobi. Laki Laki is one of Indonesia's many active volcanoes. Indonesia sits on the Ring of Fire a zone of intense volcanic and seismic activity. Eruptions in this region are not uncommon, but their impact on air travel varies depending on the size and direction of the ash cloud. Volcanic ash is a serious hazard to airplanes. The tiny particles of rock and glass can damage aircraft engines, causing them to fail. The ash can also clog fuel systems and reduce visibility, making it extremely dangerous to fly. Airlines take the threat of volcanic ash very seriously. They use sophisticated monitoring systems to track ash clouds and receive warnings from meteorological agencies. When the ash concentration is deemed unsafe, airlines have no choice but to cancel or delay flights to ensure passenger safety. Section 5 airlines respond to the eruption. The recent volcanic eruption has caused significant disruptions in air travel, affecting thousands of passengers and numerous flights. Airlines including Jetstar, Qantas and Virgin Australia responded swiftly to the eruption. They immediately activated their emergency response plans to ensure the safety and well-being of their passengers and crew. They cancelled flights to and from Bali and other affected airports, prioritizing the safety of their passengers and crew. This decision, though difficult, was necessary to avoid any potential hazards caused by volcanic ash in the atmosphere. The airlines issued travel waivers, allowing passengers to rebook their flights or receive refunds. These waivers were a crucial step in providing flexibility and relief to those whose travel plans were disrupted. The airlines faced the challenging task of managing thousands of disrupted passengers. Long queues formed at airline counters, and airport terminals were crowded with stranded travellers seeking information and assistance. They set up dedicated hotlines and online resources to provide updates and assistance. These measures were essential in keeping passengers informed and helping them navigate the complexities of rebooking and refunds. The airlines also worked closely with airports and other authorities to minimise the disruption and help passengers find alternative travel arrangements. Their coordinated efforts aimed to restore normalcy as quickly as possible, ensuring that passengers could continue their journeys with minimal inconvenience. Section 6. The importance of passenger safety. The cancellation of flights due to the volcanic eruption highlighted the paramount importance of passenger safety in aviation. When natural disasters strike, the aviation industry must act swiftly and decisively to ensure that no lives are put at unnecessary risk. Airlines have a responsibility to make difficult decisions, even if it means disrupting travel plans to protect the lives of their passengers and crew. This involves constant communication and coordination among various departments to ensure that every safety measure is meticulously followed. While flight cancellations can be frustrating, it is crucial to remember that they are implemented for a critical reason to mitigate the risks posed by hazardous conditions. Passengers may experience inconvenience, but the alternative could be far more dire. 
The decision to cancel flights is never taken lightly and is always made with the safety of everyone on board as the top priority. This involves analysing weather patterns, assessing the condition of the aircraft and ensuring that all safety protocols are up to date. The ultimate goal is to ensure that every passenger reaches their destination safely, even if it means facing delays or cancellations. Section 7. Recovering from the disruption. As the volcanic activity subsides, the focus shifts to recovery and resuming normal operations. Airlines are working diligently to clear the backlog of cancelled flights and get passengers to their destinations. Airports are assessing any potential damage and preparing for the resumption of flights. The recovery process takes time and coordination. Airlines need to reposition aircraft, reschedule flights and ensure that they have adequate staff available. Passengers should expect some lingering delays and disruptions as the aviation industry recovers from the impact of the eruption. Section 8. Sharing your thoughts and experiences. The eruption of Mount Liwatobi Laki Laki and its impact on air travel serve as a reminder of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared for unexpected events. Have you been affected by this eruption or other natural disasters that have disrupted your travel plans? We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts, experiences and any questions you may have in the comments section below. Your insights can help others understand the challenges and complexities of navigating travel disruptions caused by natural events. Section 9. Staying informed in a changing world. In our rapidly evolving global landscape, staying informed is more crucial than ever. With news coming from countless sources, it can be overwhelming to keep up, but it's essential for making well-informed decisions. Staying informed about potential travel disruptions is essential in today's interconnected world. Whether it's a sudden change in weather, political unrest, or health advisories, being aware of these factors can save you from unexpected inconveniences. Natural events, like volcanic eruptions, can occur unexpectedly and have far-reaching consequences. These events can disrupt travel plans, cause delays, and even pose safety risks. It's important to monitor news and updates about such occurrences. By staying informed, travellers can make more informed decisions and be better prepared for the unexpected. This means not only checking the news, but also understanding the potential impact on your travel plans and having a contingency plan in place. Before you travel, it's always a good idea to check for any travel advisories or alerts issued by your government or airline. These advisories can provide crucial information about safety, health risks and other important factors that could affect your trip. Familiarise yourself with your airline's policies on cancellations and rebookings. Knowing your rights and options can help you navigate any disruptions more smoothly and reduce stress and consider travel insurance that covers natural disasters. This can provide an additional layer of protection and peace of mind, ensuring that you are financially covered in case of unforeseen events. By staying informed and being prepared, you can minimize the impact of unforeseen events on your travel plans. This proactive approach allows you to enjoy your journey with greater confidence and security knowing that you are ready for whatever comes your way.